Hi everyone, I'm Renata, your English teacher. Welcome to our class. Let's get started. Na outra aula, eu contei para vocês sobre a minha amiga lá dos Estados Unidos, que está se mudando para o Rio de Janeiro, e pediu minha ajuda para encontrar um lugar para ela morar. Agora, ela tem mil perguntas sobre o apartamento que eu encontrei e vai precisar entrar em contato com a imobiliária. Vamos usar a internet para buscar os contatos deles. Look at the image. This is the real estate agency website. Carioca Homes. How can Anna contact them? It's here. Contact us. Let's check here. Look, all the information to contact the agency is here. Phone number 5521-557-9988. Cell phone number 5521-9878. Email address cariocahomes at email.com A number for messages 5521-9878-2552 And their address 123 Barata Ribeiro Street Ana, call the agency to get some information about the apartment. Let's listen to their conversation. Carioca Homes, Ray speaking. Hi, I'm Anna. I need some information about this one-bedroom apartment in Gloria. Can I ask you some questions? Yes, sure. In the living room, I can see only one chair. Is there another chair? Yes, there is. There are four chairs. And in the kitchen, is there a fridge? Yes, there is. And a coffee maker, is there a coffee maker? No, there isn't. Is there a wardrobe in the bedroom? I can only see cabinets. Yes, there is. It's a big wardrobe. Is there a digital alarm clock? No, there isn't. Are there bed sheets and pillows? No, there aren't. I guess that's all. Thank you. Call me back if you need more information. Okay, bye. Bye. Good. Anna got the information she needs. Now, I'm curious. I'd like to see the apartment. I'll send some message. Let me ask the agency. Look at our conversation. Hi, can I see the one bedroom apartment in Gloria? Yes, sure. Where is the apartment? Write the address, please. It's 57 Glory Street, apartment number 201. The key is with the doorman. Ok, thank you. Agora, eu já tenho o um endereço. Eu sei onde fica o apartamento. I have the address, the name of the street and the apartment number. Vocês repararam que em inglês o endereço é um pouco diferente? O número vem antes do nome da rua. E às vezes a gente nem fala o número do apartamento. Look! 57 Gloria Street. The number, the street name. And the apartment. Apartment number 201. 
This is the apartment address. What's your address? Multi Rio address is 15 Largo dos Leões em Umaitá. It's a good apartment for Anna, but she needs a coffee maker, a digital alarm clock, pillows, and bed sheets. I have to check the prices to give her an idea. So, let's check, but before, can you count in English? I count, and when I stop, you continue, ok? Eu vou falando os números, e quando eu parar, vocês vão ter três segundos para falar os números aí em inglês. Os próximos da sequência. Let's count. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 31 Sixty, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, Now you're ready to check the prices. Look at the image. Is it a website or a flyer? Right, it's a flyer. We can see the products Anna needs for her apartment. The digital alarm clock is 89 reais. The coffee maker is 65 reais. The pillow is 43 reais and the bed sheets are 110 reais a Ana achou tudo muito caro e resolveu comprar usado eu encontrei um bazar e preciso checar os preços I'll send them a message I like messages Hello. Hi. How much is the coffee maker? It's 42 reais. How much is the digital alarm clock? It's 50 reais. There are two pillows, right? How much are the pillows? They are 30. 30 
30 reais for the pair. How much are the blue bed sheets? They are 75. Ok, thank you. Vocês perceberam como eu perguntei o valor de cada produto? Let's check. One coffee maker. How much is the coffee maker? Two pillows. How much are the pillows? One object. Is it singular or plural? Right, singular. And for two objects, is it singular or plural? Plural. So, singular. How much is? Plural. How much are? Agora é com vocês. Let's practice. The plates. One, two, three. Ten plates. Singular or plural? Plural. So, how much are the plates? The watch, one watch, singular or plural? Singular. So, how much is the watch? Three, the blue bowl. What's the answer? How much is the blue bowl? The glasses. One, two, three. What's the answer? How much are the glasses? Great job! Vamos ver o que vocês aprenderam na aula de hoje? Agora vocês já sabem. Referir-se à quantidade, endereços e números de telefone, preços, etc usando os números cardinais. Descrever moradias, fazendo referência aos cômodos e à mobília. Na aula de hoje, vimos que a minha amiga achou os preços dos produtos um pouco caros e preferiu comprar usados. Muitas vezes em casa, a gente precisa de alguma coisa e não tem dinheiro. Ou temos coisas sobrando que não usamos mais, roupas que não cabem. Como nós podemos ajudar as pessoas e dar utilidade a essas coisas? Vocês já pensaram em organizar um bazar de troca? That's all, kids. See you. Bye, bye.